This video is about review for calculus. 1a. Let f of x equals、uh, x third power minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 6. Part of graph of f is shown in the following diagram. The graph of f crosses the y-axis at the point P. The line L is the tangent to the graph of、uh, f. At P, find the coordinates of P. For the y-intercept, we know that is f of zero. So we plug in f of zero over here. You will get the zero to the third power minus two times zero squared plus a times zero plus six. You will get six. Therefore. The coordinate for this p will be zero six. For one b, find the derivative of f of x. So we get the f prime of x equals x third power we do prime minus two x squared do the prime plus. Eight x we do prime, then plus six we do prime. You will get three、uh, x squared minus four、uh, x plus eight. This will be zero. Therefore, I can write down three x squared minus four x plus eight. For one c, hence find the equation of L in terms of、uh, a. For the p, we know the coordinate is a zero six. They give to you this is x one y one. For the slope of a tangent line, you will get the derivative. Plug in zero. That is a three times zero squared minus four times zero plus eight. So you get the eight. Then using this formula, y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. You will get the y minus six equals a times x minus zero. So you get the a x here, y minus six. So we write down y minus six equals a x. Now let's go to one d. The graph of f has a local minimum at、uh, the point Q. Minimum that means、uh, this equals to zero. The line L passing through this Q find the value of、uh, a. First of all, let's、uh, assume the coordinate for Q is x y. This Q on the f graph. And also on the line L, so we can write down the equation. Q is、uh, on F. We can write down this. Y equals x third power minus two x squared plus a x plus six. Because the Q is、uh, on this、uh, L, which means、uh, this function. So we can write down y minus six equals to a x. Because this Q is a minimum point, we know that it's a、uh, the. Derivative of、uh, f of x equals zero, which means、uh, this three x squared minus four x plus a equals to zero. Let's label this is the first equation, second, and then the third equation. From first two, this y I plug in here. You will get、uh, x third power. 
minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 6 minus 6 equals to 8x. Simplify. You will get um, x third power minus 2x squared equals to 0. Factor x squared times x minus 2 equals to 0. So x1 equals 0, x2 equals 2. From the graph, we know this is the solution for q. So we can plug in to this function. For this function, it's a, I can get the a equals cross these two terms. You will get the a equals negative 3x squared plus 4x. So we get negative 3 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2. You will get negative 4. This is the solution for A. Let's go to 2. Let f of x equals this. The following diagram shows part of this f. The region R is enclosed by the graph of f, the x-axis and the y-axis. Find the area of this R. First of all, we will set up the f of x equals to 0. So we have 6 minus 2x over square root. 16 plus 6x minus x squared equals to 0. As we know, if we have a over b equals to 0, which means uh, a equals to 0. Therefore, I can set up 6 minus 2x equals to 0, x equals to 3. So we have here is a 0, this is a 3. The area equals definite integral f of x from 0 to 3. Let me write down here, area equals from 0 to 3, 6 minus 2x square root, 16 plus 6x minus x square, then from 0 to 3. We go to use um, substitution method to do this uh, integral. So we set up the u equals 16 plus 6x minus x squared. And a du over dx equals 16 plus 6x minus x squared. So we get this is a 0, 6 minus 2x. Also, this is x1, here's a x2. You will get the u1 equals, plug in x1, 0, 16 plus 6 times 0 minus 0 square equals 16. And u2 equals 16 plus 6 times 3 minus 3 square. You will get 16 plus 18 minus 9. That equals 25. Therefore, when we do the substitution, the area, it will be from here to 16 to 25. Then you have a du dx square root of u then dx reduce you will get uh, that is 1 over square root of u du as we know that is uh, 1 over square root of x, do the integral, you will get the 2 square root of x plus c. Therefore, 
I can write down two square root of u. We do from 16 to 25. And then we plug in 2 square root of 25 minus 2 square root of 16. Then you will get uh, 10 minus uh, 8 equals to 2. Remember, if you want to use uh, substitution to solve a definite uh, integral, you have to change into u1 to u2. Just plug in whatever you have here is x1, x2, so that you can change these two numbers, change a to b. For 3a, let f of x equals this, and g of x equals that, where b is a constant number. Find the g of f of x. This is a composite function. So we have a insider first. So for this function, I can write down g of f of x. Then f of x first, you will get 1 plus e to the negative x power. Then we go to g function. Plug in here. Then for g function, every single x turning into 1 plus e to the negative x power. Therefore, you get the 2 times 1 plus e to the negative x power plus b. So you have 2 plus 2 e to the negative x power plus b. Now let's go to 3b. Given that uh, this one equals negative uh, 3, find the value of uh, b. So we do limit as x approaches uh, positive uh, infinity. g of uh, f of x, that equals to this. So 2 plus 2 e to the negative x power plus b equals to negative 3. As we know, e to the negative x power equals 1 over e to the x power. So when x approaches a positive infinity, this one go to infinity. 1 over infinity, that whole thing equals to 0. So we have this is a 0. We plug x equals infinity to this function you will get the 2 plus b equals negative 3. So b equals negative 5. Let's go to number 4. Consider f of x equals this. For x is uh, between 0 and 2, where k is a positive. f of x equals 2 has exactly one solution. Find the value of k. When you talk about exactly one solution, Basically, we use a discriminant. Which means the b squared minus 4ac. Since f of x equals 2, we plug in here. You will get the 2 equals log base k of uh, 6x minus 3x squared. So we do k squared equals this. k squared equals 6x minus 3x squared. I have to change into ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 form. Make sure a is a positive. That's the reason you move everything to the left side. You will get the 3x squared minus 6x plus k squared equals to 0. For quadratic function, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. b squared minus 4ac, we call this is a discriminant. 
when b square minus 4ac greater than 0, we have two real roots. This thing, that means uh, x1 not equals to x2. So if a greater than 0, open up, you will have uh, two roots. We can label x1 here as x2. If a less than 0, so we can do like this. See, label here is x1, this is a x2. If b square minus 4ac equals to 0, we have exactly one real root, which means your x1 equals x2. So when a greater than 0, open up. Just touch the x axis uh, only one time. If it's a less than zero, so your graph will be like this. Touch x axis uh, only one time. If uh, b square minus 4ac less than zero, no real roots. In other words, we have two imaginary roots. So, if a greater than 0, your graph won't touch this uh, x-axis. If a less than 0, the graph like this, not touching x-axis. Try to remember this uh, diagram, this discriminant of a quadratic function that is b squared minus 4ac. If it's a positive, it means two solution. Equal zero means one solution. Less than zero means no real solutions. According to the given information, this equation exactly have one solution, which means b squared minus 4ac equals to zero. We know that a equals to three, b equals negative six, c equals k squared. So we plug in, you will get the negative 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times k squared equals to 0. So we have 36 minus 12 k squared equals to 0. This is the power pattern equation. So isolate the k squared on one side. You have 12 k squared, 36 divided by 12, both sides k squared equals to 3. So k equals plus or minus square root of 3. Then you will get the k equals the square root of 3 because the k greater than 0. That's why we only keep positive solution k equals the square root of 3. This will be the final solution to this question. Now let's go to 5a. Let f of x equals x squared minus x. For x is the real numbers. The following diagram shows part of a graph of f. The graph of f crosses the x axis at origin and the point p10 show that f prime of 1 equals to 1. So we will figure out um, f prime of x. x squared, we do derivative minus x, we do derivative. So we have 2x minus 1. So we have f prime of 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 1 equals to 1. Now we finish this uh, proving. Now let's go to 5b. The line L is the normal to the graph of f at p. Find the equation of l in the form y equals ax plus b. Normal, that means perpendicular to the tangent line. So we have, this is a tangent line. Here is a right angle perpendicular. Let's label, this is a L1. We know slope of a tangent line that will be the f prime of 1 equals to 1. 
So the slope of a normal line equals negative one. We do the opposite and a reciprocal. Of one that is a negative one. We also know the p is a one zero, so we have a one zero. That's your x one, y one. Then you have slope. We use this formula: y minus y one equals slope x minus x one. Therefore. I will get the y minus zero equals negative one x minus one. Then we do distributive property, get the negative x plus one. That's y equals. Let's go to five C. The line L intersects the graph of f at another point Q. As shown in the following diagram, find the x coordinate of Q. For this f function, that is x squared minus x. This line, we already get the negative x plus one. Basically, we need to solve for the intersection of for these two function. So we write down y equals x squared minus x. The other one, y equals negative x plus one. We solve this uh, system equation. So we plug x squared minus x uh, into this y. So we get the x squared minus x equals negative x plus one. Since this is a quadratic pattern equation, we will try to get equal zero. Move everything to the Left side, you will get the x squared minus x plus x minus one. So get the x squared minus one equals to zero, and x squared equals one. Then x equals plus or minus the square root of one. That is plus or minus one. From the given diagram, we know that. Here is、uh, x equals one is a、uh, this. The other one here that means、uh, x equals、uh, negative one will be the solution. Now let's go to five D. Find the area of the region enclosed by the graph F and the line L. So we're looking for this、uh, area. We know here is a、uh, negative one. This is one. Therefore, for this area equals this is from negative one to one. This L, you have to minus this F. Do the integral. So we have L is negative x plus one. Then minus parentheses x squared minus x. Do the integral. This is a distributive property. You will get、um, negative x plus one minus x squared plus x. Simplify first, then you do the integral. So we have negative x squared. This two is gone plus one. This time, you can do the integral. For this, you will get the negative of x third power over three plus constant number is one x. Then it's from negative one to one. You will plug in one first, negative one to the third power over three plus one times one. Then minus bracket. You have negative、uh, negative one to the third power over three, then plus 
negative 1. When you do the definite integral, don't rush step by step. Because when you do this subtraction, it's so easy to make a mistake. We have negative 1 over 3 plus 1. Here, you will get the 1 over 3 minus 1. We work this out. You will get uh, equals negative 2 over 3. Then we have this uh, negative sign. So negative, uh, negative 2 over 3, which means uh, positive uh, 2 over 3. So you get uh, all together, these two, they give to you 1 over 3, then plus 1, that is a 4 over 3. That's the area. Let's go to 6a. Consider a function f of x such that this equals to 8. Find this. This is a four properties of a definite integral. So why you do this definite integral? You can write down two times definite integral of a f of x from 1 to 6. Then you will get the 2 times. This is 8 equals 16. For 6b, I can write down this plus 2 dx. Then this give to you 8 plus this give you 2x. Then you plug in to 1 and 6. You will get the 8 plus 2 times 6 minus 2 times 1. Remember, here is a minus. So you get the 18.